Hello everyone. So let's continue on and we're on page 18 today. New letter, but a new old letter. What do I mean by that? The sound M or in the Hebrew letter Mem, Mem. We were introduced to that letter on page 12, Mem. Ma, me, ma, me. You remember that, I hope, very, very well. So here's the complicating issue. Okay, you know it can't be always, always be easy. There are two different mems. There's a regular mem, and then there's a mem which we call the final mem because it only occurs as the last letter of a word. It doesn't look the same as the regular mem. If you look at page 18, you see what it looks like. And you see it compared to the other mem, and you can tell the difference. Not that much of a difference really, it's just a little line that separates the two, which is a great little sermon about how little details make such a difference in life between a mem and a final mem. And so, as my grandson Darren says all the time, that's our sound for the day, but it's at the end of the word. So if you look at line one, there's a word, two letters, with the ayin, which is solid, which is silent, and the chirik under it. So that's an e. When we meld it together with the final mem, it becomes im, im. Next word is me, but we've had that before. The next word is, again, the silent ayin with the patach underneath it, and so it has the ah sound, with an m at the end, with a mem at the end, it's am. Am is a Hebrew word, it means nation. We are am Yisrael. We are the nation of Israel. Next word, ah, me. Ah, me, which means my nation, my nation, ah, me. Then, ah, now here we're going to have both mems in one word. We have the regular mem with the chirik, me, with the yud next to it, me. With the final mem, it becomes mim, mim, ah, mim. Ah, mim. And if that was one word together, it would mean nations. The plural of am, nation, is amim, nations. Word from another session before, dod, right? Dod. Then, do, dim. Do, dim. Because we take that dalit with the chirik and the yud, which is d, melded with the final mem, and we get dim, dim. Okay, so let's go on to line two, because now you're already proficient. Mo, re. Recalling that that hey at the end of the word mo, re, really doesn't have a sound to it. We only hear three letters. We hear mo, re. We don't really hear the hey. Mo, rim. Mo, rim. So we have the resh with the chirik, the dot, the yud is ri, melded together with the final m, rim. Then we have am. A, mim. And then, final word, ra. Bim, ra, bim, bet, b, with the final mem, bim, bim. Line three, ba, ba, 
im. Aleph is silent, so it's just e with the final mem, melvin, im. Now the next word you know from last, the last session or the one before that, eve, re. Eve, re, meaning Hebrew. Then we have eve, the silent ayin, with the chirik is e, melded with the vav and the two dots, which is just the sound of the letter vav, eve. Then reem, and wow. Wow, look what you can do now. You know a five-letter word. av ra hum Avraham. Av-ra-hum. Right, you hear that final man? Av-ra-hum. And then line four, av ra Ha, Eve, Re. Ha, Eve, Re. Which means Abraham, the Hebrew. He was called the Hebrew Avraham. He wasn't called a Jew, at least initially, and he never was actually. He was called Ivri, a Hebrew. And that's a whole lesson in and of itself. Ivri comes from the Hebrew word aver, which means on the other side. So what is an Ivri? An Ivri is someone who is on the other side of things. In other words, we don't always just go along. We don't always just accept and embrace what everyone is doing. We began as a nation of, of rebels, rebelling against the morals and the ethics of, of Egypt, and then creating a nation which is nothing more at its inception, then an absolute rejection of everything that was Egypt and a commitment to something holy. Line five, Abba Amar. Abba Amar, Father says, Dodim rabi, Rabim Ba'im. Dodim Rabim Ba'im. It's a whole sentence. Amazing. Father said that many uncles are coming. Okay. And six, mo rim, mo rim, ra bim, ra bim, ba im, ba im, ba erev. Ba Erev. Line seven. Abba mi av ha ivrim. That's a huge word. Look at that word. Ha ivrim. Three syllables. Ha ivrim. The Hebrews. Plural. Father. Who is the father of the ivrim of the Hebrews? Line eight, you know the answer. Avraham, Avraham, Av ha Ivrim. Avraham, Av Amim Rabim. Line nine, Avraham, Av Amim Rabim. Line ten, Ima, Abba Avraham. Ima, Abba, Avraham. A line 11. Abba, Av, Amim, Rabim. Abba, Av, Av, Amim, Rabim. And line 12. Hamore, Amar, the teacher says. Hamore Amar, actually said, it's not present tense, the teacher said, Avraham Av Ha'am Ha'ivri, big sentence, Avraham Av Ha'am, 
Look at the word ha'am. Ha meaning the, am, the nation. Ha, Eve, Ri, the Hebrew nation. Abraham is the father of the Hebrew nation. So when you get to synagogue and you see the word in the Amida, Elohei Avraham, you'll be able to recognize it now. So study, study hard, and I'll see you next time. Shalom.